Well, at the MCG, those great rivals of the 1960s, uh, late 60s and 70s, Richmond and Carlton fought it out. And another low-scoring slog in the mud, apparently the ground in very bad shape. Richmond only one go goal, two at three-quarter time, trailed by 22 points. And look at the half-time score, one goal apiece at that stage. The Blues hanging on in the last quarter as Richmond kicked three goals uh, to win by 16 points. Naley, two out of Carlton, six, and McKellar kicked uh, half of Richmond's goals with two out of four. Well, our studio guest tonight is Richmond wingman, half-back, Brendan Bauer, and not such a great result. I would imagine the coach might have laid the law down at three-quarter time and said you'd better at least kick a few goals to salvage something. Oh, no, not a great result, but we had good things come out of the game, though. The, uh, we were pleased with part of our effort. A win would have, been, would have done us really good, though. You improving after that dreadful run? I think we are. We're starting to band together a bit more. We're starting to get back on the track. We're working hard on the track. Just got to put it out in the field now. How are you going? You uh, played a bit on the wing, but you prefer it on the half-back flank. Oh, I don't mind. So long as I'm playing, I don't mind where I'm playing. But um, uh, early part of the season wasn't too cra uh, crash hot, but after that it was starting to come together a bit more. You were telling me you're a third-year player at Richmond, having come through the under-19s. Yeah, that's like right. Tell us your progress. Under-19s, we, uh, we won the flag in 85. There was about 10 players out of that who have gone on to play senior football. And um, this is my second year in the seniors, more or less. And you're yet another to overcome one of these nasty knee injuries. What's the background there? Oh, that was a few years back now when I was 16. I tore a cruciate ligament, but uh, I think everything's going along all, all right now, touch wood. The doctor wasn't too optimistic about your future at that stage. Well, his point of view was that I shouldn't play any contact sport, so um, you can't tell a 16-year-old kid that. So <laughs> I didn't take too much notice of that. What about now you're about 21? It still doesn't worry you? That oh, no, that there's no advice? problems now. No, we, we go along all right. And a final word about your opponent today. Carlton uh, playing the two lowest teams on the ladder over the last two weeks and not particularly convincing on the scoreboard in either. Do you think they might be off the boil a bit? Yeah, it's, it's possible. I think um, they may have been gearing up for a Hawthorne next week. But um, we manned them up pretty closely for three quarters of the game. We, we, it was about halfway through the third quarter we let them away. But um, we were happy with our game. We manned them up and we put the pressure on them and they, I don't know, they may have buckled a bit. Well, you've played them all, all 13 of the others. You've only beaten two. Do you think you might uh, win a few more than that in the run home? I think we should, we should win two. We've got good players at the club and we're all working hard for it. We'll, I think we'll win a couple more. Thanks, Brendan. Good luck. No worries. Right. Well, now to the match we haven't seen so far tonight and it's at VFL Park where Collingwood played North Melbourne and the condition...